It, uh, it was uh, a big challenge, you know, uh, coming here as a newcomer to this, uh, uh, to this community. It, it was very, uh, very hard uh, with uh, no friends, no family, and uh, uh, to be accepted here in the community, it was not easy. The first people who came to the States was my brothers, um, around 1999, 2000, someone that year. Um, they came to Texas, and that was the first place that they came to the United States. Um, after that, um, one of the family members moved to Mina, and then um, we just started growing business here in town. Uh, some of my family moved here. I have three sisters. I have several nephews and cousins. So, yes, I have a, a big family now and a number of friends that also follow us from Chicago. And uh, they live in here and from other, other parts, you know, uh, of, of the country. And uh, yes, so now we are part of a large community here in uh, contributing to the economy of the community. And this is a, a wonderful place, you know, to live in. I've been blessed to serve on the Casa Tal Community College Board. It's a part of the uh, Kettleman's Association, the Farm Bureau Association. I have worked for the I work for the FSA, which is a Farm Service Agency. I was working for the state committee, serve on the first um, agricultural uh, Arkansas Agriculture Department uh, Board in uh, Actually, right now, uh, I'm serving as one of the directors for the Federal Reserve Bank. This is an honor, you know, to be, to be serving there. Besides the restaurant, I do some other things also. Um, I work for MENA Fire Department. I'm a professional firefighter, too. Uh, I went to uh, Fire Academy in Camden, 2011. I have two kids. I got married to an American citizen, and I came here in 2008. And then it's a big change whenever you are 18, 20 years old, and then you used to go to, you know, 30 years old and married and everything. And um, it was a big change for me, a big adjustment. I do not speak any English at all. I mean, it was really funny because I would go to McDonald's and, and, and I just would take whatever they give me because I don't want to go back and say, hey, you know, this is not what I want because I don't know how to say it. And, uh, you know, that was one of the things that I was thinking, you know, how I'm going to help my kids. And uh, I don't speak English, you know, if, if they need something at school or if I need to take them to the doctor, you know, how I'm going to do that. So that's when I decided to go back to school and, and learn the language and all that kind of stuff. And, and it was tough. Um, the United States give you the opportunity to do a lot more things. Uh, it's amazing the kind of things that you can do. And, and you can do whatever you want. You just, have to, you just have to really want it so bad that you put yourself in a position that you have to go and, and go get it. That's all you have to do. You just have to go and get it. Um, besides that, um, all my brothers and sisters working for the restaurant, we don't see this as a business. Uh, we all live here, all the family lives here, and we, we feel part of the community. And uh, that's been part of the success of the restaurant. When you work for something, you work for a reason, but whenever you get yourself involved, because you are part of the community, you realize that whatever you do, or whatever you don't do, is gonna make a difference. I'm still an immigrant, and I will die as an immigrant. But, uh, we are, uh, and we have uh, worked to represent somehow uh, the immigrants and to support and help those that are just fortunate.